uh, and that I could watch on replay forever. But that being said, we got to move on to the final fight of the undercard and our first amateur title fight of the evening. The lightweight amateur cage Titans title is on the line. This is my pick for fight of the night. I've been oh, more excited about this fight than any other ones all week. Um, I love seeing two high-level local guys test their skills against each other. You know, both these guys, I think, have big careers ahead of them, and they're both from the area. To see them come out and fight each other in a title match, I love. Both guys have great, interesting energy. Yeah, I love seeing the local guys go at it and truly show who is the champion of New England at this amateur 155 division. You know, the main event, one half of the main event tonight, Don Shanis has held this title that these two fighters are fighting for. Joe Giannetti also has fought and won this title at the amateur ranks, and Kyle Pufal looking to remain undefeated, sitting at 3-0 out of Nostos MMA. Devastating striker, very very strong build for this 155 pound weight class he's a dense kid at five foot ten made weight no problem looks like he's really filled up looks like a 70 and a well-rounded fighter in all facets is devin powell you'll see veteran in his corner vaseline and his fighter up getting him ready for his first title shot in massachusetts coming from a big gym up in nostos up in new hampshire there they've been Working hard, building a great fight team, and just the entire team has been on a tear the last two years. They have a lot of high-level guys sparring together up there in a really good setting. Coach Devin Powell's been doing some good stuff for the guys up there. Young kid at 22 years old, already has this much experience and already thrown into this kind of opportunity. Sky's the limit for this young man as he makes his inaugural walk to the cage, Titans cage, and the lights hit. That's a big 55er, my man. The first fighter going for this vacant amateur title. As we await someone who has already made a name for himself in this building several times. All five of his fights have taken place here. Built a fan base. Always in exciting moments as we await Miguel Sevison, who has more than earned his shot at this title. In his last three fights, going 2-0-1 after starting off his career 0-2. The resurgence he has made, the improvements fight after fight, the dedication that I have seen day after day, weekend after weekend in the gym, sparring with some of the top pros and amateurs around. You know, his main training partner, Jack Congdon, former opponent of yours, Bobby Homer, fighting later tonight for that amateur welterweight title. Lakeville MMA has built a team of legends the past couple years, and tonight is their night as Miguel looks to bring home another belt to Lakeville MMA. Such an active squad they have there. Always in big, good scraps. Fearless team, fight anybody. Miguel has good cage time too, man. He's seen a lot inside the cage here. He's definitely prepared for anywhere this fight could go. And he's got a great team behind him. They're all very excited. Oh man, these title fights have been some of those electrifying matchups that we have seen, whether they're quick finishes or they go the distance. Prepare yourself for some crazy, sophisticated, calculated violence between two seasoned amateurs who are both ready to claim gold and take that next step towards going pro. Both of these guys, under 25 years old, young athletes. This is an insane matchup and we wait for the tail of tape for this first amateur title fight. And here it is, folks, our tail of the tape, a lightweight amateur title fight, two-year age difference, height and weight, and reach virtually identical with just one-inch reach advantage for Kyle Pufal. I will put, and here we go with Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the final fight of the undercard before we hit intermission. And a quick reminder that the Cage Titans 53 official after party is being held at Tavern on the Wharf, directly across the street from the back of the building you are currently in. And now, to finalize the undercard for the vacant 
Cage Titans Amateur Lightweight Championship scheduled for five rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a perfect amateur mixed martial arts record of three victories and no defeats. He stands five feet ten and one half inches tall, and he weighed in at 154 pounds. From Summersworth, New Hampshire, he's representing Nostos. Let's hear it for Kyle Poufal! And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories, two defeats, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, and he weighed in at 155 pounds. From a sonnet, Massachusetts, he's representing Lakeville MMA. Let's hear it for Miguel Mother Effin Severson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge for this amateur lightweight title fight is Tommy Santana. Your amateur lightweight title fight crowd was electric for me. Yeah, I'm on fire right now. Yeah, this is a big one, boys. God, this fight is going to be insane. Pufal in the red and black. Miguel in the gold and black. They touch him up. A lot of mutual respect. Oh, nice left hook Big from Pufal. Hands from Pufal. Right hand, too. Miguel's Big got a chin, though, and a right hand. gets rocked by Miguel. Great counter Miguel. from Miguel. Oh, my. Oh, oh. What is happening? Boys are throwing. Oh, Rock my. Rock them, suck them, robots. What did I tell you? Oh, a deep to the face from Pufal. These boys are Pufal. swinging right now. Pufal's bleeding a little. Everything for golden glory. Look at these guys. Overhand after overhand. Oh, big hands head. from Pufal. Pufal rocks Sevison. Two teeps. Great combos. Nice jab, changing levels from Miguel, but Pufal. Oh, 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 that, that right hand really hurt. hurt him. He still doesn't have his legs, but Miguel. Miguel's rocked here. He's got it. Take down. That right hand was oh, hold on. another team. Lead hook, though, landed. Miguel's getting clipped to the temple. He's got to keep his hands up. A nice kick. Listen, I've seen Miguel spar. Oh, oh. big hand He's... lands on Miguel. Oh, a big body kick. That might have caught him in the back that as he was spinning. Him. That front kick. Miguel's in trouble here. Yeah, Miguel's still got a lot of cobwebs with him. Kyle He's got threw a, out a lot, oh, though. Oh, and he's slowing down, too. Kyle with the bloody nose, and he's been cracked, too. He's got he's to be calculated and putting away Miguel, These but guys Miguel. let it go so he, much right now. Miguel staying patient. He's been cracked before, but Fufal really putting on a clinic here. And when he lands, you can see the power difference, but Miguel. Looking like he's gaining his legs a yep. little bit more here. He definitely. Oh. Halfway through this first round, these boys have just put out a lot, and it, um, it's showing right now. I'd like to see Miguel get to kick, kicking range. Nice jab from oh. Savison. Coming back into this fight. Oh, Good no, one, one two. two. So back and forth. Wow. The ball hit so hard. Oh, my gosh. Nice left hook from Savison. That lead Savison. hook all night. Oh, that right hand from Miguel, but Buffal, what a chin on him, too. And These guys are throwing everything they got at each other. These guys are leaving everything in the cage right now. I don't now. think takedown is in either of their minds right now. This is round nope. one out of five. Wow. Wow. Nope. No everything. chance. Everything. Sevison starting to lead the pace here. There's the takedown is he attempt. Go for a takedown? Changing levels, maybe just to get a breather. Less than a minute. This could get him the round if he lands this takedown. I don't know about that. He was uh, really hurt early on. I think these judges don't know what is going on. They are probably both all confused right now. It's uh, been back and forth, and finishing with the takedown could show a lot for him. But you, you are right. Still, he, but the, the takedown, takedown. Take no, oh, did he hold the fence? That was, ooh, I don't know. That stopped the takedown. Referee didn't see it. But Pafal's reversing it here. Right to the neck. 15 Miguel seconds. Has 15 seconds to survive. Let's see if we can. He's yeah, he's, he, he broke the grip. He's out of the choke, but still, Pufal in a dominant position to close out the round. Sliding a little off the side. It looks like Miguel's going to survive. Oh but what my a God. first round! Am I? That's. 
that was, what do we say about these title fights at the amateur ranks? They come for blood, they go for glory, they want the gold, and those guys both fought like they mean every aspect of that last statement I just made. Miguel got cracked though. Miguel got cracked really bad. It looked like his legs were gone very early in that fight, but he was able to keep his composure, get his legs back underneath, and climb up, find a way to climb back into the round. But though, that being said, Gufal looked superb. He hits very hard. Miguel's a bit more consistent when he's getting off, but when Pufal starts backing him up, it's hard for him to get much output because Pufal hits just so hard. It looks like he's got that game-changing X-Factor power. The way he clipped Miguel with that first uppercut. Looked at caught him clean on the temple, and immediately you see the central nervous system of Miguel kind of just lock up for a split second, and then all of a sudden he's like a baby giraffe and doesn't have his legs underneath him for a good 20, 30 seconds of Somehow, that round. Somehow, though, he gains the composure back. And he was finding good strikes too, Miguel was. He was Absolutely. finding strikes in that. In that that jab, some high kicks I liked too. I'd love to see some more of those. Yeah, I think Pafal really established a, uh, a lead in that first round. And Miguel, we know he's willing to make adjustments. We know he's game. We know he's got the tank to go the distance. Absolutely. And Pafal. You know, he's got to be brimming with confidence right now after that successful first round, especially to end taking the back, too. Nice kick. Let's see how much gas these boys have in the tank after all that in the first round. Miguel getting rocked here. Yeah, that lead hook from Buffal is just money. Oh. There's that uppercut again. A nice right hand from Miguel as he sh Oh, oh, that left hook again from Buffal. How tough is Miguel? Dude, these he guys so are both. Game. He stays in the pocket, and very and he, composed. And he's landing a lot of shots, too. I gotta give Miguel credit. He's finding Pufal at the end of these punches. It's just the power difference is quite evident right here. This is what I was talking about, man. Definitely a great matchup for the amateur 155 title. Both nice flurry from the Miguel. In the, division. the volume is very much playing into the favor of Sevison right now. I because wanna... he can't go tit for tat with. Pufal, he hits too hard. Great takedown from Miguel, but Pufal immediately reversing the hips. Ooh. Oh, might have been a low blow there. An accidental, uh, definitely, but it happens. It's an accidental low blow. I thought Miguel it happens. a low blow at first. Miguel's got a knot on his eye. What a high pace for these guys. I mean, Pufal obviously is in need of some recovery, long, but yeah. both of these guys are going to be able to get some wind in the lungs. Got plenty of time to recover here. Inadvertent blow. Both of these guys, classy competitors. I'd love to see Miguel really kind of commit to those takedowns and make Buffal have to think about his power shots a bit more. Miguel's biting down and trusting in his technique, Pan Man. He is not breaking the way a lot of other fighters would with all the punishment he's taken. He's, he's almost stronger when hurt, it seems. Yeah, Miguel, there's a, there's a reason he's got the nickname he does. I feel like he's getting oh. second wind in here, too. And just beautiful straight punches. He's starting to time his strikes a little better. Maybe he maybe he's seeing some habits, and uh, Kyle Pufal he can expose now. Pufal's still looking for the one big power shot as Miguel's mid-combination. Miguel, Miguel look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six big punch combination. Big by Miguel Sevison here. But he's got to be careful of those counters. That's where he's getting clipped. Pufal shells and throws. That left hook is money. That right hand. Pufal's getting some bombs off in these exchanges, but make no mistake about it. Miguel pouring it on, trying to steal this round with oh. relentless volume and pressure. But these guys are both Pufal's swinging. Fight back Ball here. He's got to fight back. A big shot. Another one. We're going to stop this fight. Wow. Oh, Sevison what wins a the amateur 155 title. What a comeback. Amazing. Miguel, mother up in Sevison. Weathers a storm and not just one round, but the second round he got clipped. Woo. He's still fired up. He puts on the volume clinic and finishes Kyle Pufal, handing him his first loss in the second stage. Wow. What a fight. That's one to write home about, ladies and gentlemen. A big win by Miguel Mother Effin Sevison. You see the damage accumulation on Pufal's face. And uh, to the very last second, Kyle Pufal showed no quit. 
He's sitting there, hunkering down, shelling up, putting that Philly shell up. And every second that Mc Miguel Severson takes a split second pause and a flurry, he fires off a left bomb from hell, a right hand from hell. Miguel looked like he was rocked in the last 10 seconds of that fight. You just can't hurt him. He just didn't stop. He's a mother effer. Oh my gosh. What a clinic from Man. Severson to finish that fight. Unbelievable um, title amazing. fight. Overcame so much adversity in that. Kyle really threw it on him in the first round and to come back and get the W in the second like that. Oh my God. What a fight. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> my heart's racing right now. Man. Yep. Straight punches. That lead hook was on point as well for him. So much punishment on both sides. Both of these guys just went through a burner of a fight. Amazing battle. One for the ages, Andy would say for sure. He looks pumped. Ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, keep the noise going for these two warriors. <laughs> Referee Tommy Santana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of round number two. Giving you your winner by TKO and new Cage Titans amateur lightweight champion Miguel Mother Effin Samson.